Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, overcast, but I argue feeling cool today for the royalty of the Zodiac, the Leos. That's because the moon has moved into Leo, putting your emotions and your ego on the same team for the next couple of days. So this is a time when you're extra charismatic. This is a time where you shine bright. And this is a time where you tend to get called into soul service. Remember, Leo's job on the planet is to live in their inner child, to be as fabulous as they can, to be a celebrity. And by default, you become a leader. You inspire all of us to find our inner child. Remember, your inner child is a part of you that is endowed with your spiritual mission on the planet. It's the adults that talk children out of it. The children knew right when they were born what to do. So go do your thing, Your Majesty. You may have to be a leader in the next two days. Now, the reason why I say cloudy is because the sun in chapter one of Sun and Gemini is ruled by Neptune today. Now, Neptune is the planet that rules Pisces. It logs us in to our guardian agents up there, connects us to the soul collective, and allows us to really get a big picture perspective of our lives. So you might be unclear on the Gemini topic, if you don't know, the Gemini topic in chapter one is your society, your social status, your circle of friends. So we're still trying to figure out what's not working in that arena. Maybe perhaps with a particular reputation, maybe perhaps with a particular friend. And if you don't know how to meditate or you need help with it and expanding it to a greater power, I recommend you check out Julie Zipper with Meditation Vibration. She has a new show online as of today at The Mothership at SoulGarden.tv and she literally is going to talk about Gemini and how our mind and our thoughts sometimes betray us. It may not be the friend that's a problem. It may be your intellectual approach to the issue. It may be your own prejudice to that friend or your prejudice to that kind of friend. So check out Julie Zipper. She has some tools on how to meditate and get to the crosshairs of what that is. Now speaking of Gemini, Mercury, its ruler, is still in retrograde for a few days and Mercury is still having you rethink. That's what a retrograde is. Looking at the issue one more time or from a new perspective or unveiling hidden information. The topic is Taurus which is your career and legacy. So I wouldn't necessarily take that new job just yet or sign on the bottom line just yet if you can because there's still more information to be unveiled in the next few days. Mercury will go direct, by the way, on Sunday, May 31st. So by next Monday, June 1st, you should be real clear on what to do with your career and it'll be time to move forward and execute that task. All right, Your Majesty, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So